Yeah, is this your dance? You know, just ugh, break on the spot. We'll start our search around here, ma'am. And we'll be sure to tell you right away if we find it. Thank you so much. <laughs> He's so cute. You mean that bowl of milk? The side quest enemy so hard. Our fighting was in perfect sync. But I could keep up at least. Shut up, you. What am I? Not why this. Why I'm fucking pissed off. I end up hearing people telling me to keep it down. I did it! <laughs> I've got it! I'm being too loud. Uh, I'm so glad! <laughs> That's what I want to see. I'm so glad! Why are the side quest bosses so hard in this one? They were not this tough in the first one. I don't want to hear that it's a sequel and things are su they're supposed to be harder because, you know, it's the second part and everyone was strong at first anyway. Or somewhat. Oh, I wish I saved before because now I have definitely even more losses on my record. But whatever, I don't care about that. Always some kind of boss that either buffs itself to get its health back, speed, damage, like that gorilla, or it's a boss that has a freaking guaranteed one-shot kill move. The higher elements weren't e uh, in effect at all. Such bullshit. <sighs> Fuck that. Now my now for a while I'm just gonna be pissed off. This is what I get for doing it on Nightmare Link. Why am I not doing this on New Game Plus? I don't know. Maybe because I do want to show you guys that you can do this on your first go. It's going to be really tough. It's going to take a lot of grinding. But I want to be the odd man out. And maybe I'm not being the odd man out because there are other people who do this and they are much better than me. So whatever. I'm doing it anyway because I want to. No matter how difficult it is, I've beaten games on the hardest difficulty before. <sighs> I wonder if I didn't even have anything. No, I had everything the way it should be. But yeah, look at this now. 44 retries, the character KOs have definitely gone up. I don't know how many tries that was. If you look at the record, if you look at the record for when I showed you guys it last time and stuff like that, then you'd freaking know. But I don't. And 
that's just... I need to save. Did not save since that cursed chest on the freaking South Queens and I were. Now I did. Thing that has Rufus's name on it. He's leading all those fuckers, so I don't care. Sadly, she wasn't. sure that everyone can agree if there is a boss that just spams with status effects like buffing itself or having a certain freaking move that can one shot kill you yeah I think people can let my anger slide for this and I know someone's enjoying it Ugh. Why do I do this to myself? I always do these freaking hard things. I get through them, but still. Uh, what? What? Is this just like if I missed it, I can get it here? Uh, Freaking girl at the freaking stables. That was Paula. Oh, yeah, you're the lacrosse girl. That's who you are. Known that the noble alliance is filled with douchebags.
I didn't go in the restaurant. Oh no, wait, that's because that was the main place. Let's go. Oh wait, the restaurant you didn't even need to do anything in, so why hadn't I gone in here? I'm giving you guys enough time to read these. I've just got a bad feeling about fighting C again, especially if he still has the same things he did in the first one. Ugh. I don't want to fight those two Zephyr guys, Zeno and Weunitis again. I do not want to fight them again. Because they are status effect spamming bosses too. God. Those are just the worst bosses. Uh, of course, I can, and it is true the truth that Tokyo Xanadu Calamity difficulty is easier than this, because I actually can control what happens, and it's more of my fault than it is the game. Speak to down here. the one who always walked through the halls of Thor's and always talked about her allowance too.
I don't really get everyone being on the wanted list when really it's class 7 that's the biggest threat to them. Jeez, those prices! What the hell? And I'm sure the only reason Eustace is actually doing this is because, well, if he doesn't, his father's gonna jump on him and be like, boy, what do you think you're doing? I wouldn't mind getting back our summer school uniform. At least for Reen. But we probably won't be getting that because even if we do get back the Thors and get the school back, um, we're in the middle of December right now. So, yeah. Um, gotta go directly. Establish she's back home, but beyond that, nothing. It's not going to be easy to get in contact with the son of one of the four great houses. Especially since the Alliance considers us wanted criminals. We're likely to be arrested by the Provincial Army regardless of how we go about this. Isn't there something we can do? This is a hassle we could really do without. I wish I had something more to add, but I'm at a loss. I'm as lost as the rest of you. Um... Oh, you too? Hello! Can I speak to you all for a moment? Oh, I think I recognize you. You're useless of friends, aren't you? Do you need something from us? Um, well... We've got a message for you from someone. Huh? For us? Right, um... Head to the restaurant in the Central Plaza post-haste. That's the message. The restaurant in the Central Plaza? I assume that must be whatever? Yeah, must be. Who gave you this message? S sorry they asked me not to tell you. Is this some kind of game? Oh, I want to play what it- Rabby, shh! Anyway, that's all we were told, so bye! Who could it be? Eusis? Instructor Sarah? Or maybe one of the other instructors? Mm, that was weird. Thoughts, everyone? It may have come out of the blue, but it seems to be a relatively harmless request, at least. We should investigate just in case. We're struggling for clues as it is, so any weed is a good weed. Looks like we all agreed. Let's head over to that restaurant. Angelica and George are in all this too. Angelica must be back home and George, I don't know. Oh, I see you've all chosen to stop by once again. It seems he was right after all. 
Who was right? Is it safe to assume that you've been left with a message for us too? That's right. I'm not permitted to say who from, unfortunately. Make your way to the airport post haste. I shall await you there. That's what I was asked to tell you all. So our next destination is the airport. They must be having fun dragging us all over the place. Doesn't matter who it's from, we're gonna have to head over there to clear things up. Yeah, let's just make sure we're ready before we head out. I don't know what voice I'm... I don't know what voice I try to give to any of the chefs in this game. Going through here will take us to the airport, right? Hmm, I don't see any staff around. That's probably due to the flight restrictions. The gate looks to be open just enough for us to enter, too. Should we? I don't know who or what will be waiting for us beyond here, but it doesn't matter at this point. Let's go. Right. The airport. Not much around here. That's a big ship. Be nice if we could take that once we get uses. But they probably have some kind of system to protect against that. Wow, Breherhard's airport it uh Breherhard's airport's as nice as I pictured it being. It's my first time visiting it as well. I suppose this must be an airliner. Yeah, it's a medium-sized passenger airliner made by the Reinford Company. I've been aboard them a few times. I've been waiting for you. And you are? Who? And who might you be? I was sent here to deliver a message. You see that airship right there? Make your way to the lounge on the third floor post haste, is what I was told. The lounge on the third floor. Could this be a possible trap? Well, not like we have anything, any better ideas. Let's go. Yeah. You know, I've never thought about it, but this was this would actually be an interesting trap. Get someone on your plane, and then you fly. Looks like in, I've never seen that in like movies, in some games or shows. Like you get someone on a plane as your trap, and then you just take off. This airship is massive. Indeed, although it naturally couldn't hope to compare to the Courageous in terms of size. We were instructed to go to the third floor lounge. Stay on guard. There's no telling who the person calling us is or what they have in mind. Right. Well, I kind of want to go down to the hold. We're going down to the hold. I guess this is the hold? It's awfully spacious for one. Aha! Yes, I've probably missed a chest somewhere. Because of something like that, I think that's how I missed a chest in the first game. Now I must be very, very careful. <sighs> Whoever's behind this door, it can't be good, can it? I should say. Though, are we just gonna throw down inside this airship? Probably. My wings are correct, right? I think this is the third floor lounge. Should we go straight ahead? Who could it be? You certainly took your time. Well, Eusis, <gasps> what a perfect plan.
Eusis! I suspected it was you. The man with the plan, huh? Nice to see you doing well. How long did you intend to make me wait? I have wondered whether you would even bother to show up. Do you know how much trouble you made us go through to get here? There are eyes everywhere in this city. It would have drawn too much attention for you to come here directly. That was just my way of looking out for you. Perhaps you could try thanking me. <sighs> <laughs> At least you're well. That's what matters. It really is great to see you again, Eusis. The same to you. I'm impressed you were able to overcome the many ordeals you've no doubt faced to make it this far. But should I be surprised, I wonder? I've always had high expectations of you. <laughs> I doubt I would have been able to come this far if not for everyone's help, though. Still, thanks, Eusis. This means that all of Class 7 is finally together again. Excuse me, Instructor Sarah. Class 7 isn't exactly complete without its teacher. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you so much. <laughs> You've been a tremendous part of making this happen. Thank you, Captain. <laughs> I haven't the foggiest idea what a member of the RMP is doing here, but I suppose it doesn't matter right now. She's just been accompanying us. Eusis? I've been kept abreast of your activities through the Noble Alliance's information network. So I'm well aware you've been fighting their forces across the land using that ash-colored knight of yours. As well as the fact that you've chosen not to ally yourselves with the Imperial Army, but instead fight as a third faction. <sighs> oh, has word of Valimar been getting around that much? That said, I didn't arrange for us to meet like this just to see one another again. I did so that I could make the difference between our respective positions crystal clear. What do you mean? I see. You have no intention of coming with us, do you? Seriously? What? No! You surely saw this coming. Eusis, come on. I'm the son of one of the most influential figures in the Noble Alliance. And as I imagine you're already aware, I've been assisting him and his provincial army in fighting this war. Well, we know, but... Is this what you believe to be your duty as a noble? Meanwhile, my brother is acting as the Alliance Force's Chief of Staff. And as for my father... He was responsible for hiring Jaegers to attack Ymir. Which is not only your home, but the home of all the kind-hearted people who welcomed me with open arms earlier in the year. <sighs> I can only apologize. If I'd returned home earlier, then perhaps... No. I don't even have the right to do that much. Yet with that in mind, it should be clear that we can't go back to the way things were. It wasn't your fault though, Eusis. The gulf between us is simply too vast to be filled. Our paths have parted. That is reality. Eusis, please! This can't be the only way. It doesn't have to be like this, Eusis. <sighs> I will guarantee you safe passage out of the city. If you deem it necessary, I can even have you escorted out by car. However, once you're out, we can no use this. I can understand why you feel somewhat responsible for what happened in Ymir. I can understand why you, as an Alborea, feel as though certain things are inherently expected of you. Actually, I should probably tell you that Dad woke up the other day. All that's left is for him to get his stamina back now. He'll make a full recovery. That's... that's good news. I would have liked to pay him a visit myself. But... with circumstances as they are... Oh, don't worry about it. I'm not telling you that to make you feel guilty. I'm telling you because I don't want that to be your reason for what you're doing. Pardon? What I want to know is what you want to do, and the path you want to take. If you want to help your family because you agree with the ideals of the Noble Alliance, I won't stop you. But if that's not what you want to do, if you're only helping because you feel like you have to for whatever reason, if you're doing it because you feel responsible for what happened to my dad, which by the way you aren't, or if you're doing it because as much as you want to come with us, you feel like you don't have the right to, then you're nothing more than a coward who's running away. And Whoa. I don't believe that's how a real Erebonian noble should act. They should do what they believe is right, 
and do it with pride. If Dad was here now, he'd say the same thing. Uh. Green? It might sound cold, but he's right. We're only students, still learning more about the world around us. Alone, we don't have the experience or knowledge to go around proposing solutions to the conflicts in this country, not to the war going on around us, nor to the class divides that started it. But that's alone. And that's why I think we all need to come together as a class again. We're all inexperienced, but we all come from different...